What's up, people? It's your belief, and today I'm just gonna be giving you guys some of my thoughts about the Battlefield 2042 beta. I'll try to just give you guys the big issues I have with the Battlefield 2042 beta. But first, let's talk about some of the good things. So I'm just not complaining the whole time. For sure, Battlefield 2042 feels really good, right? The foundation for having this game to be a very good game it's there, you know, it feels like you have a lot of those battlefield moments, especially with the tornado, especially with the rocket launching into the air. And not only that, but just being able to snipe someone out of a helicopter and then the pure chaos of watching people rush a point when other airplanes are shooting at them and there's like snipers across the map, definitely the gunfights and all that stuff. It is amazing. Okay, so the foundation is all there. But my big issues for Battlefield 2042, at least for this map, I just feel like the map is just too big and the flags are just too spread out. I mean, it's nice that the map is really big and maybe if we're playing a different game mode, it would be a lot easier and a lot more fun. But with Conquest specifically, the only flags I really stay at is B, D, and E. And then the B flag is literally the best flag in the game because whoever controls the B flag, essentially controls d1 and d2 and then the e flag i suppose it's supposed to be the opposite of b where it's like a high point and people can hold that but then there's no cover rotating from e to either one of the d flags and if you jump off of the top of the e flag there's still the issue of you not being able to reach those points compared to just jumping off of d so i hope somehow they fix that in this map specifically maybe make those points have a little bit more cover for example e to d and also just like rotating from d1 to d2 if people are in the underground system and it's clogged up you have to cross through the airstrip and my issue with that is there's no cover in that airstrip as well i mean it's world world three and people are fighting there so shouldn't there be some cars that has been blown up or something or more craters for people to hide to make the rotation from d1 to d2 so hopefully for that map specifically they add some more cover because i feel like that's lacking and i mean i would talk about the huge mountain in the middle of the map that cuts the map in half literally and no one goes to the other flags but i don't think that's going to be changed at all and that's just how that map's going to flow but for orbital specifically that map doesn't have great flow for Conquest, and I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, another issue I had was just the bad parachute system. I've died countless times because the parachute system is just too clunky. It's either one, you jump off of a building and you parachute too freaking late, even though you pressed it, I swear you pressed it at the right time, but you end up splatting to the ground, or you open it too early and then there's this weird bug animation where your your character's not moving forward. So you'll have to like let go of the forward button and press it again to actually move forward. But by that time you get beamed out of the freaking air. And occasionally you're able to open the parachute just right. And it's a great system. But yeah, it's, it's bad though. Let's be honest, it's bad. Because you should be able to open your parachute. I feel a, a little bit more like Call of Duty or Warzone. Being able to just open your parachute immediately and float down i feel like their system is really nice and i hope they just kind of fix that parachute system a little bit more and then the third issue i have is the bullet velocity for the lmgs and the snipers so we'll talk about the lmgs first i feel like they're definitely outclassed by the other ars at least in the beta because there's times where i am shooting someone with an ar and an lmg at the same distance and i notice that i get a lot more hits with the AR just because the bullet velocity is just so much faster. And then the LMG, you're like spraying, but you have to lead your shots a lot more. I feel like they should buff the bullet velocity for the LMGs, but then slow the movement speed for the LMGs because I feel like the movement speed in general for every weapon you hold is almost exactly the same, including the SMGs. I feel like the SMGs, your movement speed is about the same. So it doesn't really make sense to me. So I feel like they definitely need to buff the velocity for the LMGs, but then nerf the movement speed. And then the sniper rifles definitely need a bullet velocity buff. I understand their sniper rifles and like, if they're too strong, snipers are just gonna ruin the game. But as of right now, even if you're shooting someone from like, 
20 meters away, you have to lead your shots ahead of time and making those small movements. I understand it, it causes a higher skill gap, but it's just, there's just so much chaos sometimes in battlefield that you end up just missing the shots because not everyone's standing still. And sometimes people just like are running forward and all of a sudden they decide to look up for that split second. And if we had just a little bit of a faster bullet velocity for those sniper rifles, I feel like it would feel a lot nicer for snipers who want to play more aggressive because at the end of the day, there's still going to be other snipers who want to sit on top of a tower and shoot across the map. Like that's not going to go away. So the bullet drop is still okay you shouldn't nerf the bullet drop but just increase the bullet velocity so then you can have some more aggressive snipers because i love sniping and i love playing very aggressive with sniper rifles and it's just kind of sad that the revolver has better bullet velocity compared to the sniper rifles it even has better bullet drop so hopefully they buff the bullet velocity for the lmgs and the snipers so the last issue i have with battlefield 2042 is just the operator system i really do prefer having certain met, like medic classes and recon classes and assault classes. And the reason why those classes are just a lot better is because there's not like a meta that everyone's going to start using. I understand they're trying to have this like mismatch operator system so that it could kind of cause more like Call of Duty players to come over and want to play Battlefield. But I feel like the old Battlefield operator system really just was like a key part in Battlefield. In order to be a good Battlefield player, you have to understand how to use each one of those classes to the best of their abilities with whatever classes they have. And it's just kind of a shame that I'm pretty sure they're not gonna fix that, but I kind of hope they make things a little bit more permanent because right now there's a lot of people running McCree, whatever, who that Pathfinder, whoever the hell that is. And then no one's reviving because why would you wanna play a medic right because that medic chick she could heal herself but then the other issue is how does she know that her teammates need to be healed right because i'm playing her and i'm trying to heal people with this medic gun but then i don't know how much damage they've gotten like taken and i'm just there doing my own thing and then also if you're playing the medic chick the revive animation is just so bad you take about two to three seconds for you to like to look at a highlighted character of the person that killed you before you even go to the revive animation for someone to revive you. Hopefully they fix that. Like, I really wish it's gonna go back to the old operator system, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But at least, please make it where only a few guns can go with a few operators or something for it to make a little bit more sense. And the last thing too is, the Casper operator is just so freaking useless. That drone, you have to be in it and then only when you're in it, then there's like red dots for your teammates to see enemies. And when you're out of it and you leave it in a certain spot, it doesn't even highlight the enemies for you when you're playing. So I just hope they fix these operators because as of right now, the operators do not seem that great. And the operating system is definitely not making it feel like Battlefield. When you have a really good squad that understands the balance of all those roles, like it makes an amazing squad and then that squad could like literally carry the whole freaking team. But just like as of right now, it's just so complicated and everything's really clunky. But those are just like, I guess like three or four things that's been bothering me about Battlefield 2042 that I really hope they fix. Because like I said, at the end of the day, the foundations of this game is also really good. I just hope that they're able to like fix this before the game launches. Because Battlefield does have a bad record of releasing games that have a lot of bugs with this though and i'm pretty sure it's still gonna be the same thing hopefully they just fix it enough to where it's not that annoying you know and then they could continue fixing it later on so i hope you guys enjoy my opinions about battlefield 2042 i mean like i said in the beginning the foundations of this game is still really good and i hope they just fix some of these issues later on before the release date um and i'm just kind of sad i'm pretty sure they're not going to fix the operating system but we will see what happens. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, what issues you guys are running to. I know there's a lot of issues like no nade icons and like server issues and all this other stuff. I'm just hoping they fix all that stuff before. I'm just hoping they fix that. And also I'm pretty sure a lot of people are talking about that already. Things I haven't seen a lot of people talk about. So I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in whatever game you guys are playing. Hit that subscribe button because you want to see more. 
I think Battlefield 5 and some Apex gameplay until Battlefield 2042 comes out again. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.